The Juno spacecraft reveals Io's volcanic secrets. Based on data collected by the Juno spacecraft, scientists they showed that Io, one of Jupiter's moons, has no global subsurface and ocean of magma, as expected. The interior of this moon is most likely in most solids, and its volcanoes are fed by separate chambers with magma. Io is the third largest moon of Jupiter and the fourth in this respect, in the entire solar system. It was discovered by Galileo in 1610 of the year. It is slightly larger than the Earth's moon. He circles Jupiter in less 43 hours. This is the most volcanic place in our system it's a planetary. The surface of this moon is still blown up volcanoes and huge lava lakes. There are over 400 active volcanoes on Io. Observations provided by the Juno spacecraft, in combination with all available historical data indicate that there is little volcanic activity on Io is from found beneath the surface of the magma ocean, so far has been thought. The results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature. The volcanic nature of Io was confirmed in 1979. When the Voyager I spacecraft flew near it, transmitting to Earth photographs of volcanoes and lava lakes. Linda Morabito of NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, identified pyrupes on transmitted images the volcanic. Since the discovery of Morabito, scientists have been wondering in how volcanoes on Io are powered by magma under surface, said Scott Bolton of the Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio, chief scientist in the Juno project. The researchers considered different the scripts. One of them was the shallow, subsurface ocean of hot magma, that feeds the volcanoes. It is believed that volcanic Io activity is stimulated by the powerful gravity of Jupiter, which causes the moon to deform. That is why, because the orbit of Io around the gas giant is elliptical, which means that with change of distance from Jupiter, changes are subject to gravitational influences acting on the moon, and with them the shape of the moon. In other words, the moon this one is constantly being cubed by Jupiter's gravity during its orbit. These tidal deformations cause friction inside the object. As a result of them huge amounts of heat are created, which are enough to melt the interior of Io, potentially creating a subsurface ocean of magma. This continuous meeting produces a huge amount of energy, which he literally melts the parts of the interior Io. We knew that if Io has a global ocean magma, this signature of its tidal deformation will be much larger than in case more rigid, mostly permanent interior. We thought in depending on the results of the Io gravity field probing by Juno, we will be and it will be possible to determine whether there is a global ocean of magma Bolton said. NASA's Juno spacecraft during two flybys of on December 2023 and February 2024, it approached the moon's surface to the moon it's only 1,500 kilometers. She took measurements of Io gravity by tracking, in how it affects the acceleration of the probe. This allowed to obtain information on the tidal deformity of Io. Combining these observations with data historical, Scientists calculated the extent to which Io is deformed by the tidal forces. The results obtained do not fit into the subsurface concept the magma ocean suggests that Io has mostly a solid interior. According to the author's publications, remains to be determined whether there may be some areas of magma deep inside the moon. Juno's discovery that tidal forces don't always create global the oceans of magma, not only prompts us to think about what we know about the interior Io. This has implications for our understanding of other moons, such as Enceladus in Europe and even exoplanets. Our new discoveries give us an opportunity to breaking on what we know about planet formation and evolution, Ryan said. 
Park from JPL, the lead author of the publication. What space rocket launches would look like if they were, is it transparent? How much fuel does space rockets burn? On the network can read that in 25 seconds a medium-sized pool disappears, or that the Saturn V rocket used as much fuel as the 763 elephants weighed. To be a better understanding of this problem, it is worth watching the unusual one posted on YouTube the animation. It shows what the launch of the space rockets would look like if they were its transparent. Video presents the next stages of separating the parts construction and combat of rockets with powerful earth attraction. Animation posted by YouTuber Hazy Grey Art has gained very quickly, the popularity on the web. Simulation compares the launches of four space rockets, Saturn V rockets, rockets of space shuttles, Falcon Heavy rockets and a SLS rocket designed for nearly a decade. Shows fast emptied fuel tanks of the most powerful the rockets are constructed. In red, highly refined combustion is shown varieties of oil RP1, similar to aviation fuel. Orange color means liquid hydrogen, LH2, which is an efficient fuel used in many rockets NASA. Its use requires special safeguards, because after heating it is rapidly expanding and threatening to explode. Blue means liquid oxygen, LOX. It is worth recalling that the animation appeared just before historic old rocket SpaceX Falcon 9 with the Crew Dragon space capsule and two astronauts on board. It will be a breakthrough event, because the first once a private company will take people into orbit. This will also be the first since nine years of launch of a rocket with a crew from the Space Flight Center. Kennedy in Florida Saturn V is a three-stage launch vehicle used by NASA in the years 1967 to 1973. It was initially developed for the Apollo mission, it was then used to launch the first American station the Space Skylab. It's the most powerful rocket built so far by a man with a thrust of 35,100 knots. It also belongs to her the record lifting the heaviest load to so far into orbit, i.e. the module commanding the Apollo mission, which went to the moon. This type of vehicle has been used by NASA for more than 30 years from 1981 to 2011. Thanks to space shuttles, which when they returned to Earth they were reusable, many satellites hit orbit, in this Hubble Space Telescope, it was also the shuttle missions that have taken to orbit many elements of the International Space Station ISS. However, the use of shuttles was expensive, so US government decided to suspend program and allow commercial companies to the possibility of space conquest. This opportunity was taken by Elon Musk and his SpaceX. It's the most powerful rocket since Saturn V created by SpaceX with the support of NASA. It is the heaviest of the one used currently on the A-head. It can take almost 64 tons of cargo into orbit at much lower costs than other vehicles constructed so far it's a cosmic one. Falcon Heavy is a modified and enlarged version Falcon 9 rocket that could take only less than 23 tons into orbit the cargo. Her test launch took place on February 2, 2018. The rocket then went to Elon Musk's Tesla Road Aster is orbit. It is estimated that the cost of launching one kilogram of cargo into orbit with Falcon rockets, it is less than a thousand dollars. Total of one kilogram the cargo using space shuttles used until 2011 cost more than 26 thousands of dollars. NASA has been working on Space Launch System SLS, rocket since 2011 R when the Space Shuttle program closed. The SLS Super Heavy rocket has in the future, it will enable people to return to the Moon, as well as a manned mission to Mars. When the project is completed, 
it will be the most powerful rocket he ever built humanity. 2,000 mummified heads have been discovered in Egypt the Rams. Archaeologists have discovered a huge collection of mummified heads rams in the Ramesses II temple in the ancient city of Abydos. Scientists believe that the skulls were probably left as a sacrifice to the pharaoh. He suggests that Ramesses II was worshipped a thousand years after his death. Cut and mummified ram heads were discovered in Ramesses II temple in Abydos an ancient city less than 700 kilometers on the south of Cairo. This place was built in honor of the ruler who reigned between OK. OK. 1279 BW and 1213 BN discovered 150 years ago, the shrine was created after the death of Pharaoh. The temple is richly decorated with images of Osiris. He was he is a god famous for dying and then coming back to life. Noteworthy in the deserving also an impressive arch of black stone. Found heads of rams had probably been folded as a victim to Ramesses too. It was a beloved by people pharaoh who died about a thousand years before leaving him an unusual gift. A collection of skulls was found by scientists from New York University in an previously unknown ancient building warehouse in the northern part of the temple representatives informed Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities on social media. Some of the ram heads are covered with bandages and have been left partially preserved, but most are Negri skulls. On the spot, the team also found remains of goats, dogs, cows, deer, and ostrich. All the animals were probably left around a thousand years after Ramesses II ruled Egypt. Scientists think she had it be a sacrifice to the venerated king. Ramesses II is known for its extremely long reign, which it took 66 years. The pharaoh expanded the ancient Egyptian empire and also he maintained alliances with neighboring countries. Works of art depicting the ruler they often show him as the great warrior king. This is probably the reason he was so venerated long after his death. However, the records historically, they suggest that his military agility may have been an ancient work the propaganda. The ministry also announced that excavations in the temple they revealed another previously unknown building that was built in the six days the Dinas. It ruled Egypt from about 2323 BC to 2150 BC. The period this precedes the reign of Ramesses II by 1100 years. This previously unknown building has walls about 5 thick meters and contains many unusual artifacts, including statues, stone slabs, clothes, leather shoes, papyrus, and tree fragments. The new discovery significantly contribute to a rethinking of old business and architecture the countries in Abydos, the ministry said.